And today I want to talk to you about low hanging fruit right for the picking in the marketplace of the future, which is online. So according to research, the online marketplace will reach 6.5 trillion US dollars next year, 2023. And that figure doesn't even include the offline financial benefit that will come to businesses if they invest in a proper website. So if you invest in a website, you're bound to make a return. So I want to start my presentation by uh, telling you a brief history of the internet, uh, which led to my career. So it all started in 1971, when the first email was sent over ARPANET. Then, a short while later, the first spam email was sent. It's been around for a long time. In 1980, the Internet Protocol version 4 was invented and still in use today. In 1983, the first domain service was registered. And two years later, on my birth year, the first domain was registered. In 1989, Sir Berners-Lee invents the World Wide Web and the coding language HTML, which is still in use today. Two years later, he built the first website, and a little later in my presentation, you will see that we've come a long way from there. In 1995, the first ever item was sold on eBay. It was a laser pointer, and it didn't even work. <laughs> in 1998, Larry Page founded Google. I still think he's got the coolest surname. Yeah. In 2005, the first video went onto YouTube, and it went viral. In 2010, the first Bitcoin transaction took place. It was for two pizzas, and in today's Bitcoin value, it was 336 million US dollars for those two pizzas. And on to today, where mobile web browsing overtakes desktop. <clears throat> so, since the inception of the internet, the landscape of marketing has changed completely. In 1996, Bill Gates said that the internet is the marketplace of the future. And what you need to know is that all roads lead to your website. Whether we are at a networking event, handing out business cards, that business card will lead somebody to your website. Whether you're running social media campaigns or traditional advertising, print, radio, everything leads to the website. So this is where Pathfinder Media comes in. Our mission is to make it affordable and adventurous for owner-managed businesses to have a blazing fast world-class website. Our long-term vision for our clients is to make their website their hardest working employee. And what makes us different from any other web agency is the fact that we assure uncompromising personal service at a fair rate, faster than you think, with less hassle than you care to handle. So some ideal referrals for us is um, as vast as the classifications in BNI, but I'll just mention the top categories, the financial industry, building industrial, health and medical, business services, and NPOs. Okay, so I want to tell you about those low-hanging fruits. And I want to start by giving you a definition of something called widgets. A widget is like a website gadget or an application interface that pulls data from somewhere and displays it where it is embedded. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples of widgets. And the nice thing about a widget is we don't have to rebuild an entire website in order to add a widget. I want to show you some examples of what we can add to existing websites and these will be great referrals for us. Okay, first up is a um, social media feed. All of these websites I'm going to show you is websites we've built with my team, my team as well. Okay, so this is Nukubanga uh, Mbanga, she's a life coach and we've added an Instagram feed on her website. So over here you can see Instagram feed, over here you can see your followers, you can follow from here, click into it, interact with the social media straight from her website. Whenever she makes a new post, it appears on her website. Next example is a WhatsApp icon. So this WhatsApp icon wasn't added to all pages of Theater Academy, it was only added to their Partake Break um, page. Because this is where they wanted, they are needing it. So that's the WhatsApp icon over there, and you can start a chat with them um, to engage about parties. Next example is a video widget. So this is Gearbox Europlacer. They are a tech company in Nairobi, Kenya, and we've added a video 
gallery for them um, because they post a lot of content. So this is a playlist from YouTube. Whenever they post a new video on YouTube, it automatically displays here on their website. Next example is CPC Instruction Engineering. We built a one-page website for them, but within this one-page website is a fully-fledged portfolio of different projects that they have created based on different categories. And you can click into these different projects, see more photos or read more about that project. Again, a widget. Then, reviews widgets from Google, Facebook, or in the tourism industry, TripAdvisor, we can embed these reviews on your website and it shows the users or the visitors of your website that you're a real business with public reviews. You didn't just copy and paste this or made these reviews up. Um, so it's a really powerful sales tool. The next one isn't a widget per se, but it is forms that you can add to an existing website. So this is the Material Conference Center and we can build pretty much any kind of form. In this case, we built a booking form where a user can type in how many people will be attending the event, how many days, and then there's conditional logic that displays calendar with a booking. You can select the type of things that you're gonna take and it displays prices. Um, and then this can get sent to the user and the administrator on PDF. Okay. So those are all examples of widgets and embeds. Then I want to touch on um, an online shop. The nice thing about an online shop is we don't have to start from scratch rebuilding an e-commerce website. We can again use an e-commerce widget to add it to an existing website. So I'm going to show you an example now of one we did just last week. So this is FXIT. They um, produce Bible study material and from here we added a widget to their website where you can see different categories, click into the categories and then see the different products and just click on buying now and all of that will be seamless for the user. This is digital products but of course physical products <laughs> is just as simple. We can integrate with career companies, we can integrate with an ERP system or accounting system so everything will be nice and simple for you. Then another low hanging fruit I want to mention is Google Business. This is a really unutilized tool for a lot of businesses. It's a free listing. Think about the yellow pages, but the yellow pages on Google. So I'm going to show an example that we did for um, Coastal Painting for Annie. Um, so if you search for Coastal Painting, you will see their Google Business listing on the right hand side over here. And um, what you can do is optimize this listing. So you can add a cover photo, you can add a logo, add the reviews feature, um, you can add more information, all their services, and even posts, just like you would with social media. So it really enhances your search engine optimization. Um, so it is very nice to optimize. And then I want to conclude with the virtual business cards that I spoke about in my presentation earlier. And um, we use business cards all the time. And we've got a little surprise for all the members of the Mountain View chapter. We've actually gone ahead and created a virtual business card for each one of you um, with a QR code. Um, so in a minute, we're gonna hand out the QR code stickers that you can just attach to one of your business cards and you can carry that around. People can scan that and they can see your details. So I'm gonna show you an example of that now to understand it. So this is an example of the sun. So let me just refresh it. This is what it looks like. It loads their little logo, and then it shows her name. You can click to call from the phone, a little about, contact numbers, and this is the virtual, the V card download over here um, that just gets added to your phone. So you don't have to retype all the information. Okay, so. Wow, <laughs> from us at Paul Fund Media. Thank you very much for listening and keep exploring. Aww.